Okay, let's get um, a quick letterhead going here. Now, one of the things I want to show you about uh, Word, that it comes with a whole bunch of stuff already done for us. Now, to get to this stuff, we go to File, Project Gallery. The Project Gallery has all sorts of um, all sorts of things in it. There's a, there's a recent tab, there's a Project Center, there's um, Settings. The settings here, if you go here and you want to show this gallery at startup, you click here. I have mine unclicked because I know it's there. You may have clicked, unclicked it when you saw it and thought it was annoying. But here it is. Um, what we can do now to get a, a letterhead going as fast as possible is to click stationary and then pick some stationary. I, uh, I looked at all of them and it seems to me that personal letter is probably the most neutral. Uh, probably good for a... Um, so we'll practice small firm. It's easiest to customize. So we'll click that. We'll get that going. Now I'm going to bump the size a little bit. Go to 200. And you can see here in the, in the header, it's already got all my information in it. Now, if you do something, if something happens that you don't like, press Command-Z and it'll undo it. Now th th this is a little touchy in here. If you, if you actually click around in here, it's going to start deleting stuff on you. See, look at that. See that? It just deleted my name. I'll just put it right back. Um, and just delete my website. Now, if you want to change this thing, it's some, you can change the way it looks. The fastest way to do it is I recommend going to the uh, included styles first. So you click on the toolbox. And as you can see from the last movie, I, I showed you what the normal template has, has going. As a matter of fact, I'll just show you right now. See, when I click on this document, this changes to heading 1, 2, 3. They all look like that. When I click on this document, it changes to something entirely different. This is the style set for this particular template. So it's, they've, Word's done a lot. Of, uh, Microsoft has done some work for us here. Now, if you want to change these things, I would go down to this thing down here in the bottom. Usually you hit in the bottom of the, the, the formatting palette. We'll close the twirl this up so a little more space is document themes. Now you're gonna there's a whole bunch of them in here and you can just click on them and see what they look like. And you can see that it all changes and it's got associated colors. Find one you like. I kind of like that one. So I'll keep that one. And then you can of course you can also change the colors as well. And you can see what they look like. Now there's gray scale in here, let's see what that looks like. That looks a little too dark. I'll get as close as possible to uh, what I like. Codex looks a little... Let's see what the Office looks like. Nope, don't like Office. Don't like that blue. Concourse. Don't like that blue. Equity. Not bad. Exhibit. It's a little crazy looking. Now we'll click over here on this one. This one, I think, to me, this one looks okay all by itself. So if I wanted to uh, leave this stuff over here, I could. Or I could just highlight all of it and go over to Font and, and uh, excuse me, Alignment and Spacing. And then go over here and click it to the other side of the, of the uh, page. So that's done. We're going to close that and we're going to leave that done for now. Now the next thing we have to deal with when we make a template is a date. We're always going to want a date on our on our on our documents. So, what I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to delete it. Get back to where we were, and I'm going to insert date and time. Now, the available formats. Of course, this is probably the, the standard uh, way of doing it. I like to click automatically update, so I don't have to remember what the date is, and I don't have to worry. And uh, that keeps it it keeps it for me. And I don't have to worry about knowing when I wrote the document because whenever I complete a document I always save it as PDF which is like printing it and uh, I don't have to worry about the um, template updating the date for me problem I had a law firm that I worked at for a while so I would leave this information uh, as it is I would leave everything the way it is then I would go down to here and here's it's got my name already put in your whatever other information you want to put in there. Go 
Okay. And there we have it. Oh, we'll get rid of this here. And that is a, a pretty decent looking letterhead pretty quickly. Now, of course, if you wanted to insert other stuff, you could. Some information um, that you want to keep on there, that you want to uh, include there, a nice way of doing it is using a text box. I'll show you that really quickly. This is the kind of stuff that can drive you crazy if you're not careful. Draw a text box and you put it in there and then you can put other information, perhaps your partners or whatever in here. This is also a great way to get information on a uh, pleading in, a, in spots where they normally would, wouldn't want to go. So now we can we can sort of put this we can put this wherever we want. I maybe put it up here. Now right now you can see that it changes a little bit about what's going on here. Now that's that's what could drive you crazy. If it's me, I just get it as simple as possible and just leave it that way that looks right, and we leave it that way. Now I'm going to take this off, but if you want to fool around with using a text box, get more information there. Of course, you can also do it inside of here you can insert a text box. Go down to text box and then you draw the text box and then you'll have it inside of your um, in the header. Admitted in New York, let's say we just do it that way. And we want to make this look different. We'll go over here. First place to look, whenever you want to change the way a document looks, go over to styles and see if you can find someone that you like, maybe with like intense quote. Well, that doesn't seem to be right. Less paragraph, no, we'll go back to normal. Subtitle, that's not bad, we'll try that one. So that's one way of getting uh, the information there if you have to fool around. I would say only do it if absolutely necessary if you can't get it done over here. Uh, this one looks like it's uh, missing a space. Like I said, this is strange because when you click, uh, there we go. If anything happens you don't like, like I click here and it disappears, what the hell happened? I don't know. I honestly don't know either. I don't know why this stuff disappears. It really shouldn't, but it does. Just press Command uh, Z to get it back, or the um, undo undo button undo button there, and then it'll come back, and there it goes again. And that just seems to be the way it is. But so don't play with it. <laughs> this is the best way to do it, I suppose. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm going to close this. Now, once we have a working a working thing, I'm going to leave this in from this uh, placeholder text here for now because it's not a big deal to get rid of later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to save this as a template. Save As. I'm going to twirl this up so I get the full range of things. I'm going to save this to the desktop. Now watch this. When you go to Save as Word Template, it's going to want to save this in my templates. That's a, that's a place that uh, Word has kind of peeled off for um, my templates, and it's available in the project gallery when you go there. I don't think it's a good idea to save your templates in, in where Word wants to save them. I want to save mine where I want to save them because later when we go through some workflows, you're going to, you, you're going to want your templates more, uh, more handy. So I'm going to save it on the desktop, and I'm going to click Save. And now this becomes a template. All right, and here it is. Here's my template. It's called May 23rd. Now, of course, to change it, that's not a big deal. Just highlight it, press Enter, and then change it to. We'll change. Call it letterhead. Makes sense. Okay. In the next one, we will take a look at using the letterhead.